Can I tell you a story about the Kama Sutra? Sure. You know that whole series of like uh, German for dummies and um, uh, like other things, cooking for dummies and vegan, all that. You know what I'm talking about? It's all. Yeah. yeah. So I had that book and I put it on my back seat because I, I, I didn't want to bring it in the house because my dogs get all weird about sex books. So I just leave them out in the car. My neighbor, you know, Bernice, by the way, her boobs look great. She did get that boob job. Oh, uh, would you take a picture of a mother and send it to me? I would love to see it. I will. I'll, I have a couple pictures on my phone. I'll, <clears throat> I'll get them to you later today. Anyway, so I was giving Bernice a ride. She, um, I, I walked outside. I was taking the garbage out. And Bernice, she was walking down the, you know, she waved. And, you know, she's just so proud of her breasts. But she, um, she was walking, and I said, Bernice, you don't need to be getting on a bus right now. The COVID is so bad. And, you know, she doesn't have a – she won't wear a proper mask because she's so vain. Right. So she does this with her scarves. But anyway, so I told her I'd give her a ride. She was going up to the 7-Eleven to get a bunch of Slurpees for her grandkids. Oh. I know. They're so cute. The the little one, Bobby, he is growing up. He reminds me of you so much. Oh, how old is he now? He is nine years old. Oh, my goodness. I remember when he was eight. Yeah. That was different. He was younger then. Anyway, so she got in the car. And, she, you know, um, she had her uh, raincoat with her, and she reached back to put her raincoat in the back seat. And then I noticed she was acting all weird. Oh, and I bet it's kind of like a conceited level of weird. Because remember, before, when she had the saggy boobies, she was, like, just weird in, like, kind of a sad, saggy way, no pun intended. So now I bet it's elevated, so it's like a snooty weird. All right, so she turns around, she puts her thing down, and she turns back, and she starts getting all weird. And I, after 30 or 40 seconds, mm -hmm. I was like, Bernice, is there something wrong? And she pursed her little lips up, like, and I was like, what is it? And she's like, I don't want to talk about it. And I'm like, what is it? Right? Right? Thank you. And so she got to the... This is 7 Eleven. I dropped her off and I, you know, I wouldn't, I, I didn't have time to take her back also. So I was just going to drop her off. So she gets out of the car. She leans, she gets her coat and like brushes it off all weird. She was like, bye, like that. It was like real snippy. And mm -hmm. so I got back and I was like, in my mind, I was like, something's wrong with her. Like Bernice, so she's got her new boobies now and she just acts like she can't even. Talk yeah. to everybody. Well, when I pulled up, I, I got I reached back to get my purse, and that Kama Sutra for Dummies book was sitting on my back seat. So, like, and you know, Bernice, she's as straight as the day is long. So I think she thought I was trying to hit on her by putting that book on the back seat, but I didn't even remember it was back there. That is not a good way to hit on somebody. Oh my goodness, mother, I am so sorry. I would put gay porn on my back seat if I was trying to hit on somebody. 